That is one of the brightest red cardinals I've seen all winter. That is beautiful, beautiful red color. Let's see if I can walk by him. Nope. All right, you can see where I'm walking. It, the sun popped out, so I said I had to go for a walk. <laughs> it, the, my feet are not hurting on the bottom near as bad as they're hurting across the top, top of the arches. So, I've been icing them down, both from the bottom and from the top, and it seems to be helping. So that's one of my clues for today, is why do people hurt and don't put heat or ice on it accordingly. I don't understand that. I know a lot of people that are my age and older, they get a, a hurt and they will not ice it down. It's just not in their nature. But boy, is it in my nature. I've got all kinds of ice packs in the refrigerator. I mean, if you're gonna be active and like I took break, you know, two months. So starting back, yeah, there's a lot of sore parts to this body. It don't mean that it's going to stop me. It don't mean that uh, I'm going to decrease every time I go out. No, I'm going to increase every time I go out. One way or another, if it's not the actual mileage, it's the time. And uh, it, it's not about going super fast right now. It's just about doing it and staying true to myself about getting back in shape as early in the spring as I can to start riding for that 10,000 mile bike ride yearly tally is what I'm looking for. Somebody asked me would I do any triathlons. Well, um, there's a such thing as half triathlons. I might consider that come July, August. But I won't even there, there I won't even attempt anything like that. I'm not big on group rides or group runs or I'm just not big on that kind of thing. I do like catching up with people on the bicycle and drafting them. And I like I like it that it makes me look faster on my average speed and things because when you're drafting behind somebody it's like 30 35 percent easier on you and then you can save that store up because you're tucked in behind somebody that's doing maybe 20 21 miles an hour and it don't take a lot of effort to keep up with them but as soon as you break around them you're gonna feel it you know or they walk off and leave you and then you're back into that uh, no draft situation you're you're doing it all on your own that's when you can feel the, you know why people like to ride together I I get it they can get some really fast times all these little young people pulling out see behind me the school they accelerating their vehicles and stuff oh yeah well we had a really bad car wreck with a couple of young people over by the McDonald's on Jackson Street there's kind of like a blind curve there and that's where it happened at but yeah once they have to start paying for the car and the insurance and the tires they'll quit that mess that's just part of growing up <laughs> you ain't gonna sit there and spin your tires when you're buying them <laughs> or you'll you'll do it for the first set maybe the second set but when you grow up you quit quit a lot of things all right uh, I'm here at the bridge I'm thinking what I want to do do I want to go back against traffic with so much traffic I think what I'm gonna do is not go the high the high route across where Sonic is and that I think what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna walk back and uh, stay it's a lot of traffic people getting off of school and yeah I, I don't necessarily need to let them young folks see me <laughs> doing what they need to be doing and the old folks I get a lot of people waving at me and it seems like some people recognize me I don't know could it be the, <laughs> the videos on I post on five 
about 5G in Ozark, Rogersville. I don't know. I do have a following of people, so I wave back. And what I like is when they talk to me and they tell me what they've seen. And, you know, they've seen either the Pensmore videos or they just seen my cycling videos. And I like asking them questions about what would they like me to videotape. I mean, there is really, if you think about it, there is a lot of stuff that could be talked about in this area. One of the things I, I'll touch on real quick is that there's a lot of people moving into this area. And there's a reason. Now, whether they know it intuitively or what, but a lot of people that I've talked to that have decided to live here and move here, they're coming here because it's a safe place. I've said this before, but uh, we're on an old mountain range that's worn down. And geologically, it's really solid and sound. And there are tunnels and caves and honeycomb areas. But overall, if the earth did go through a cataclysm where it, you know, it rocked and rolled and shifted or spun over on its side or whatever, it would be safe. And uh, that's a fact. So I'm meeting a lot of people coming in from California and Oregon and even some Canadians and we have a large community of um, how do you say it they're Ukrainian and other nations from Russia and they're really nice people but it is interesting to see how people decide to come here of course Branson attracts a lot of people to retire and even if they don't know how safe it is, it's still good. It's interesting. Uh, it, Ozark is filling up, though. It, it, in two, three years, I tell you what, they're going to really have some traffic jams. Maybe not. We'll see. All right, I'm going to stop it there. You can see where I'm at. Alright, thanks for watching my videos. It motivates me. <laughs>